Okay, time to edit. So for the GoPro footage, you want to use this software called Real Steady Go. Real Steady Go. It costs $99, but it's no updates, no, it's like free forever after that. So no, no additional charges. And this is the only way to do it. You can try out with a free trial, but I suggest if you, especially if you're flying FPV droning, you might want to use this one. It's, it's kind of expensive, but in the long run, it's not, not that much. Add to cart, plan to use this with a drone, yes. And then you have additional information on what works and what doesn't work and some tips. But otherwise, pretty straightforward. You check out, you download the app, you get an activation key to your email. What you end up with is this one. This is pretty simple. And you only load the video that you need. Okay, and GoPro, and I'll use the first one and open. The software will do its thing and automatically stabilize your footage. And that's from my experience, just like a few times here trying out, it's, it's really good, really simple. And basically the only thing you need to know is you can crop this video to whatever length you want it. If there's some spot during the video that seems like it's not stable enough, you can add these gyro video points and then the app software tries to make it a little bit more exact. And the only thing you can do is change the settings and these are advanced settings. If you want, you can lock the horizon. And if you have a time lapse, then you can just click that. For this video, I'm just gonna go with normal. The only thing that is a little bit weird is if you want the sound of your GoPro to the stabilized clips, you need to render out the whole video. So if I have the whole video and put save, then Real Steady Go makes a new file next to the original file with the added smooth in the file name. If you make just a tiny bit of this and hit save, output video will not contain audio because trim handles are set. And then you just hit OK and you will get a stabilized video but without audio. That's pretty much it and it's, it's very basic. I didn't know this software before and now I think it's, it's really good. And you get, you get a lot more out of your GoPro for this, for sure. So now for the final comparison. Next, I'm gonna show you the exact same edit but with the two different cameras. So let's check it out.
conclusion, I think that a GoPro, even like a GoPro 6, is better than the, the FPV camera, the DJI FPV camera. And I think it's the part of the reason is probably because when you're using the same camera to fly FPV and record the video, it's kind of problematic because if you have this really wide angle and you're flying, it, it might be a little bit weird. So I think it's kind of a perfect match that you, you fly the, the DJI FPV. When you fly it, I think it's really good the field of view and it's 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 pretty easy to navigate and and you have a clear vision where you're gonna fly the gopro footage it's much wider and it's also on top so you don't see the propellers even if it's really wide and that's kind of the thing you want especially if you're flying fast and you're flying with like narrow spaces and close to objects and stuff i suggest if you have a DJI FPV, just go to eBay or Amazon or some some spot like this and order this one. It's just four screws, then you can attach a GoPro to it or some other action camera. For sure, some other action cameras would be great also. But problem again, you can't use Real Steady Go, only GoPro, because it's GoPro's own software. Some people say that it's too heavy, the drone is too heavy when you're flying with a GoPro and stuff like that, but I don't feel that way at all. And the only thing where I see that you can't use the GoPro if you want to fly in like really tight spaces that you, you have a limited height ability. But otherwise, I would rather have both videos because why not? If you have two cameras, you just record both videos and then you have kind of two different fields of view. My conclusion right now is that I probably use the GoPro footage more because it's kind of more natural for the human eye to have a broader field of view and th the feeling I'm searching for in the FPV footage is flying. Like you have to get the the feeling of flying when you look at the footage and if it's narrow it kind of gives a different feeling that's it i had a lot of fun doing this and i think i'm gonna do more of these kind of videos when i go out and try something and i hope you learn something stay safe peace out